Hello, hello, and welcome to the Wednesday edition of DC Today. Uh, just some quick comments for you today, not a lot of extensive commentary. Um, it was a weird day because the NASDAQ had, was down um, over 2%. It was its worst day uh, to the downside since February. The uh, S&P was down 1.38%. The Dow was down 350 points, down 1%. And yet, um, the breadth of downside wasn't that bad. Consumer staples were up, healthcare was up, utilities were dead flat. So you had defensives all kind of up, and yet, you know, a lot of downside on the risk assets. Please don't believe the nonsense, and I mean just comical nonsense, that today's downside was related to this Fitch downgrade of the U.S. credit rating. The S&P downgraded. The uh, S&P's credit rating, uh, excuse me, S&P downgraded the United States credit rating uh, from AAA to AA plus 12 years ago. And I think the S&P is up, you know, 400% in that time period. Uh, Fitch did it yesterday. Congrats to them. Uh, we, we, at the time S&P did it, I think we had 10 trillion of debt. We now have 32 trillion of debt and they expressed worries about the excessive debt. Um, the market, the bond market, the, the uh, uh, global currency market, I mean, there isn't a person on earth who didn't know the state of U.S. debt situation. It's something I talk about all the time and my belief in the stagnatory um, realities that come about as a result of excessive indebtedness. But as far as its uh, impairment to the U.S. ability to make a principal and interest payment on debt, which is what credit rating agencies are supposed to be monitoring, it's preposterous. And so I, I think it is irrelevant if one wants to call U.S. debt worth AAA or AA+. Plus. I certainly think Fitch, which is the third player of the three major rating agencies between S&P, Moody's, and then Fitch, I think that their take doesn't matter to anyone. Um, I think what matters is excessive indebtedness. It matters to economic opportunity. It matters to future expectations of economic growth, but it does not matter to the credit rating. The, and, and I think that this is what is so strange. But again, the, the markets were down about 100 points at the open. Fitch did this yesterday. The down 350 came about all literally every kind of half hour. We just went down a little bit more. Was that you'll see the chart in the DC today of daily our market action today was intraday was very steady down throughout the day. Markets are up so much in the last four, six, eight weeks. So there's one thing you hear me say over and over again on this podcast. Please remember that markets do not need a reason to go down. They do not need a reason to go up. And that attempt to try to find a particular single cause to market move one way or the other is always going to be met with inconvenient truths. Today is one of those days. Um, the 10-year was up four basis points. So that's how worried the bond market was about the ability of the government to pay back. Um, and, and everything under 10 years on the, on the yield curve, the yields were down. And the tenure was up four basis points, so it closed at 4.08%. So that sounds like a real massive credit scare to me. Um, that's really kind of the newsworthy event of the day. Um, the, the markets, like I said, technology was down 2.5%, and the consumer staples were up a quarter point. So you had some sector dispersion. We've certainly seen plenty of it the other way as well throughout the year with defensives down and, and technology and consumer discretionary and other things like that up. So I'm going to leave it there for the day. I'm uh, looking forward to being back with you again tomorrow in the D.C. today and definitely looking forward to a really uh, fun Divinity Cafe on Friday. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading the D.C. today. Mm -hmm.